build a school for extremely poor children was all the instruction my guest got. With no money, land, or experience, a certified accountant took the bold step to obey. As they say, the rest is history. You're very welcome, Jackie Adeolaoni. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you on Story Before Glory today. Thank you. I'm going to start off by asking you, tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, um, my name is Jackie Adeolaoni. Okay. I'm the firstborn of my late parents, uh, Mr. Justice um, Shidradi okay. and Mrs. Shidradi. Okay. Um, I am from the royal family of the Shidradis. Oh, okay, the Shidradis. Um, yes. yes, oh well. Thank and my you. late uncle was the Oni of Ife. Okay, okay. So mm. I am married with two children oh. and I'm a grand. Mother. Mother. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll talk about that experience. What's that experience like? Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. People say it's, it's not the same. It's totally different. It's, it's amazing. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's amazing being a grandma. Well, you don't look like a grandma, <laughs> if I may <laughs> say <you>. so. <laughs> Can I also ask, what's your journey been like with God, your relationship with God? Um, I've had an amazing time with God. Mm. I've had... Um, a time when when you think back from the beginning mm. you wonder and in terms of where you are now mm. the how did it all happen mm. and um, I can only give God the glory mm. for everything mm. because it's not my making it's mm. not my doing mm. um, I remember the first time when I heard from God mm. um, and I was it, it was a still voice but it was like my voice okay but it was a still quiet voice and I was it's not like we're hearing TVs when they say oh no 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 no, 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 no. like they're no, pretending no, TVs no no, no. um I, and um to some extent it, it was I was in a church in mm. Nigeria and um there was time to give um the uh uh offering okay and the voice said to me I want your Raymond well wristwatch Oh, and I looked at the person next to me because I thought somebody said it, <laughs> and the person was singing. So I was okay. like, "Who said that?" Mm. You know, I even it was my brother-in-law, and I sort of talked him at the side and said, "Did you say something?" Mm. He said, "No, what?" And um, I ignored the voice and mm. I gave cash. Um, okay. And then um, because my brother-in-law was one of the workers at the in the mm. you know, I waited in the courtyard of the church waiting okay. for him to okay, finish. Okay, to finish, yes. And whilst I was walking around, I saw on the floor something that looked like a wristwatch. Mm. And I kept moving towards it. And then I found out it was my oh, wristwatch. So it dropped. So, yeah. Mm. So as I was bending down to pick it, the spirit, the, the, the word came to me and said, I could have had that wristwatch at mm. any time. And I think that for me was number one, showed me that God was real, <laughs> Very God real. would say to you, you should yeah. obey. Yeah. And not only that, that, you know, you, you cannot hide from him. You can. Yeah. Mm. And he, to he also showed me that God was, he, he's the owner of everything. Mm. So, so that's watch that he didn't want to release to me. Yeah. You know, I could have taken it if I yeah, Exactly. Wanted. So as I picked <laughs> it up, it went straight to the offering mm -hmm. basket. Mm. And so that was obey. how mm. my faith in God, mm. my belief in God, um, trust in God, that mm. is how it all started. Amazing. I'm going to pick on the fact of what you said mm -hmm. about hearing, mm -hmm. because I believe that again, some you few, few years after that, mm -hmm. you heard another word yes. from God about 10 years ago. What was the word that you actually heard? Okay, so this time around, I was, it was 2005 and mm. I was at the church. Okay. Um, hearing from God with me is usually, it comes with worship. Mm. Um, uh, and so we were, you know, worshiping and I heard the voice say to me, I want you to build a school for poor children. Okay. And that the land will be given to you. Okay. So you're an accountant by profession. Aren't yes, you? I was. So you're not a, a teacher. Not at all. You don't have any teaching experience. Not you at don't all. have any affiliation with not children. At all. Okay. Um, not only that, I knew that was God because my children are five years apart. Okay. So I'm not somebody that yes. loves children <laughs> yes. naturally. Like that, yes. yes. And like you said, I'm not mm. a teacher. Mm. But and that was what convinced me that it was God because mm. I not personally would never mm. have thought about something like, like that. Like that's right. Um, so I, took, I held on to the word, mm -hmm. and um, it was a time when my mother passed away in my arms um, in that time period, and I was fighting with my father. Okay. So we, I never spoke to him okay. unless it was like New Year's 
or his birthday. Just the courtesy call. Yes. Mm. So it was January and mm. I hadn't said hello or mm. you know, happy new year. So I decided at work, because if I went home, I knew I wouldn't you call wouldn't him. Call. Yeah. I was working at Deutsche Bank at, the mo at that time. Okay. Um, and um, I decided to call him just to say um, happy new year. Mm. And um, we exchanged courtesies. And then sometimes you went to help God. Mm. Um, I didn't have money. I didn't okay. have land. I didn't have anything. <laughs> but at the same time, I called my dad and I was like, do you know anybody who wants to sell land? Mm. And um, he said, where? I said, not at Ife, because that's okay. where my father lived. Okay, okay. Just to show you, the, you know, the bitterness I had I with my father mm. at that time, that he wasn't there for my mom, mm. and, you know. So he kept quiet, and he wasn't somebody that keeps quiet. Mm. So I said, hello. So I said, is it because of you that I've been doing the wahala I've been doing? Is that for the what past he said two to days. you? Okay. Yeah. So I said, what wahala is that? He said, because mm. I've had land since 1980, mm. which I didn't even know that he had. Mm. He said, but in the past two days, I've got laborers there, re, okay. you know, clearing the land. I told him to clear the land. In fact, I'm on the way there. Mm. Um, and um, he said he didn't want to sell the land. He didn't want to build. And he doesn't he know doesn't why he, know why he, he was, was doing it. Wow. And um, he said, what do you want to use the land for anyway? So I said, I believe God said I should build a school for poor children. Mm. And he said, oh, yes, I know you always hear from God that... <laughs> You know, something like you better come and do business in Nigeria, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, church, yeah, yeah. set up a church. Yeah. You know? So anyway, so he just said to me, well, we've done almost four acres of land. Wow. It's yours free. Free. And my phone just dropped because <laughs> I was like, of all people, mm. it's from my father that I'm not yes. talking to. But because I heard from God, I said, yes. land will be given to you. So it was quite specific. Uh, absolutely. Mm. So I had to just thank God. And that actually brought us together before he passed away oh, because the land was next door to his house. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Look at the different avenues in which God uses to do different Absolutely. things. Absolutely. In one of your books, especially the book you wrote concerning the school mm -hmm. that um, God built through yes. you, yeah. I remember it says that the school is, um, your dedication was that it's to countless poor children mm -hmm. in the developing nations mm -hmm. seeking the, the liberating power of education. Correct. That's so profound yeah, probably, because yes. really it's like God is using you as an avenue to liberate those children Absolutely. that otherwise would just be obsolete, going to poverty again Absolutely. and that goes into one generation or another. Yeah. Tell us a bit more about this school. Okay. How did that then kick off? Yeah, so the money to mm -hmm. build? Yeah, like I said, I didn't have any money. Mm. I was at work. I was happy that I got land, four mm. acres of land. And my boss then um, was... Um, he knew that Jackie goes to Bible study. Jackie doesn't like swearing, okay. people swearing around. and So he knew that I was a Christian. Christian, yeah. Right? So yes. he was asking me why I was so happy. I mm. told him. So he said, so how are you going to build the school? I said, I don't know because I don't have mm. any money. So he said, but Jackie, you know that we in Deutsche Bank, we, you know, we support charities and mm. stuff like that. He said, you know, we do what we call Jeans Day on Fridays Which where, is, yes. you know, you wear jeans, you pay one That's pound true. and the bank will then match you know, the oh. amount. He said, if we have a few Fridays, at least it's a starting point. To start off. So I said, okay, so I said, what do we do? And I said, well, let me go and see the CEO mm. on your behalf. Let's put a document together and say what it's oh, all yeah. about. Wow, right. So I said, okay, we did that. He went mm. to see the CEO. Um, and getting there, the, my phone rang, and he said the CEO wanted to find out how much it will cost to build the school. school. I said, I don't know. I've not done one before. <laughs> And, Which is um, true. <laughs> he, he then said they should go ahead and raise funds until the school was built. Wow. And within 14 months, we, some groups called, put their, together um, um, a project committee in Nigeria right. um, as, a, as a, a group, started raising funds. Wow. I'll be part of the group. We were making decisions on um, getting... Uh, writing to uh, British Airways, writing to yes. um, Lego land and stuff like that to get, you know, yes, donations in. So not only did God provide the land, mm -hmm. he even brought people yes. as for resources for you. Yes. And he also pr 
because it's not normal that mm. it's even at work and, and for me I've just picked up something really crucial because mm -hmm. at times as Christians we don't want people to know at work that we're Christians mm -hmm. and then knowing that you were a Christian mm -hmm. knowing what you stood for mm -hmm. it even made you know your colleagues help you and support yes. you in building that project yes yes so we I don't need to hide our faith not at all not at all mm. the, f the profound thing for me was when one of the um, interns from America yeah. tried to sell me a raffle ticket on the door at the doorstep of no Deutsche Bank and mm. was like say, please 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 write this raffle ticket mm. it's for a, a school we want to build in Ile Ife <laughs> she couldn't even I, oh. I, 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 was, I just looked I God said this awesome. can only be God okay. you know mm. um so we, we got the building started. Mm. I thank God for Mommy Kate, my okay. spiritual mother. I went to wow. see her because okay. I yes. didn't know who to trust in Nigeria. Yeah, um, that's another thing. Because yes. you have to be accountable, mm. um, which is what it was very, very important yes. to me. Yes. So she led me to some people that were helping on okay. the grounds. Yeah. Because uh, you went on ground, I you were basically. Yes. Yes. And well, that was one of the things my father said to me that, you want to build a school and run a school and you're not mm, going not to be there. there. It's you, true. You know. we he said, we real. that were there, we're looking exactly. at this stuff. Yeah. They're taking from us, in, you know. Yeah. How, how that can that put be? you off totally. Yes. Yeah. But because I knew that, I heard mm, from God. Mm. The funny thing is that it is 70, well, it was, at that time it was 70 years old, okay. Reverend Aladi Komo from yeah. Ibadan. Yeah. He was one that helped to build the, the school. 70 year old man. He did not take a penny. Oh. Ibadan to Ife all the time. And every time... That's a bit of a journey, isn't it? Yes. yes. Every time he sold the vision to all the workers. So when they're given the estimates, mm. and I'm using that estimate as mm. a budget, when the actual comes through, they've reduced the actual because yes. they're saying this is our contribution, oh, contribution to, to the I think school. You, yeah, she said yeah. somebody gave you a discount. Yeah. So people so were was, also giving was, up It was system. amazing to see that and know that God's hand was really mm. in this. Mm. Yeah. We're going to go on a break now. And please hold those thoughts. We're going to explore a lot more about the school and what you have done.